Hey, welcome or welcome back. Today I want to talk about my weekly planning routine. I did a video last week talking about my monthly planning routine while I set up my passport size bullet journal for the month of September and I thought I would do kind of a touch point on the things that I look for when I'm moving from one weekly spread to the next. I don't really consider myself to be a weekly planner anymore. I like setting everything up at the beginning of the month and then I spend most of my time in my daily logs here in the back. I'm really more of a daily to-do list kind of gal, but I still use a weekly to help me see what's coming up at a glance and do any sort of pre-planning within a weekly format. I set up all of my weeklies at the beginning of the month so that I can plug and play information in as I go versus putting things on a sticky note and queuing them up for like a Friday night and doing a plan with me session. I kind of like having it all in there so I don't have to worry about forgetting about it. Um, so when it comes to the weekend before a new week, and I am a Monday starter if you are curious, uh, I do some things in my planner just to make sure that I've got everything that I need to, cleaned up any unnecessary tasks that maybe I wrote down but already took care of, um, or try and get everything in one place so I can draw from this very quickly to fill out my daily log. So the first thing I do, I suppose, let's talk about when I do this. I don't have a set day anymore, but it is usually a Saturday or a Sunday. Once I start kind of allowing myself to think about Monday again, I will look at my weekly and start to kind of clean it up. So most of the time I would say that this was a Saturday evening that I am doing this, but not always. Um, so the first thing I actually do is I check my monthly spread and that is because out of habit when I book something I'll kind of turn here first and put it in my monthly. So this upcoming week I just need to make sure hey did anything else get added in. Um, we had a, a wine tasting event get rescheduled so I got to make sure that made it but I just do a quick glance at my appointments and then my to-do list did anything else make it on here that maybe I would need to consider for the next week. So after I check my uh, weekly, uh, monthly rather, I'll flip to my next weekly and I'll just kind of do a quick audit. So I see all the same appointments that I had on there, nothing different. Um, marked out my trowel here using a Tombow. This is the new olive, or not Tombow, <laughs> new mild liner. This is the new olive cover. Um, and you'll see I already have a bunch of tasks kind of written in here and those get filled in real time. Um, so as I think of something I need to do next week, I will immediately write it down on the next weekly and I, I just sort of break it in. That's why I like setting up all my weeklies at the beginning of the month. I give myself permission to kind of move in right away and use what I need to use and it helps me stay on track so much more than queuing things up on like a sticky note, for example. Um, so now that I've checked my monthly, everything on here more or less kind of matches. I know I'm going to tackle these things this weekend actually, and um, the investing transfer is actually already on my to-do list, so there's no additional tasks that I need to add. Um, so then typically the next thing I would do is I would fill in my habits. I will sometimes fill in what I want to track for the entire month across all my weeklies at the beginning, but usually every couple weeks I will switch things up so I like giving myself that flexibility. I more or less have everything that I know I need to do in here. I must have filled it out in later in the week. Um, so I take my temp, I need to track my workouts, um, trying to stop snacking after 8 p.m., uh, sketch on my iPad. I'm gonna do a scribble log this week, so I've got vlog on here and then read six chapters. I'm trying to finish a book before uh, we leave Saturday morning so I can return it to the library. So I need to read six chapters a day if I wanna knock that out. So I can't think of anything else that I would want to do, but that would typically be my next step. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my previous weekly. So there are a lot of things on here. Today is actually Saturday, so I could knock some of these things out. Um, I filmed my September setup, um, so I can knock that out. I'm filming the weekly routine now. I'm going to film my daily after this. Um, need to bug Brandon on that. I need to take my favorite fix. Um, to do's. So more or less, I think all of this is going to get done. These could maybe get migrated, but I really want to get that done this weekend. So I'm not going to migrate them at this time because I will try and prioritize getting those done this afternoon or tomorrow. 
So nothing in here that I want to push forward. So um, we will call that good. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is sort of a flush out. So I'm going to brain dump, take a look at this. Is there anything else we need to do prep for these things? So for example, we've got a concert this Tuesday. We're going with our friends. So we probably need to figure out um, carpool parking situation. Concert. And I put that under my priority section because I need to do that pretty early in the week. We got payday, um, wind down. My husband has a golf lesson. We've got a flight check-in. So I need to I need to pack here. So I'll probably do some sort of packing list here in the center. Um, so I'm just gonna add packing list. I always need a list or I will forget everything. Add that in here. Um, I already got my hair cut in Spo Pick, so we can call that good. I'll still need to refill my vanishing point before we travel. Finance prep, new portal sign up. I already determined I'm going to do that in September, so I'm just going to put an arrow to say that I migrated it. I have to film my monthly memo. That's my Patreon exclusive video. Um, if you um, are curious, I do have a Patreon now. If you'd like to support me, I can put the information down below. But part of my um, content, basically part of the content tier is I do an exclusive monthly video and some posts. So got to film that this week before we leave, we're traveling. Um, so packing list, flight check-in, got a Patreon post. I already filmed that video. So I think at this point, there's nothing else that I could elaborate on that I want to other than like stuff I know I'll, I'll just do in a daily log. Like I could write in here, like take the trash out and all the stuff that I do to kind of get the house ready to go before we travel. But I, um, I'll do that in a daily log that that'll be on my mind. I don't need to bother writing that, that out. I'll kind of remember, Hey, I need to do my prep list, that kind of thing. Okay, um, so then the next thing I do is I actually check my next weekly, which for me falls under the next monthly setup, but I like to check for like early Monday, Tuesday events, like if there's a birthday, like I need to panic, pick up a card for or anything like that. So really the main thing is making sure I'm prepped for this um, HKS meeting. It's with our financial advisor and I've got that on my list already. So nothing that I would need to add from there. And um, then the last part is, is basically I will flip back to my current weekly and I'll deco it a bit more. Um, that's one thing I have been enjoying. I don't typically deco my weeklies before the week begins, but I will deco them post. <laughs> so um, I'll, like, I'll add a few things kind of as the days go, but so you'll see it looks all pretty blank. I've got some events, but I haven't highlighted them. I'll highlight them after the fact. Um, kind of pick a color palette. Um, so I've got a lot of free space in here. I think what I want to do is I've started to finalize my doodles for next month's Patreon doodle tier release. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll print out like a mini version and paste that in here because that was kind of where the majority of this week went. But um, so here's like my August weeklies, for example. Um, so I did all this deco here at the end of the week when I had a bunch of room. Um, put in like a sticker. This is some list for some Patreon stuff. And then I think this this week I'm going to print that off here unless something big happens this weekend that I would maybe want to do. But it's still Saturday morning, so I'm giving myself some time to, to use the space if I need to use it in a different way. But okay, so hopefully that was somewhat helpful for you if you're watching this. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. If you've made it this long, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.